There are times in the life of a breeder where stuff happens that is really annoying. Welcome to my little story time on how I nearly messed up my shadow main breeding. With the start of Genesis part 2 I took a week before I started taming shadow mains. As you probably know shadow mains are quite a difficult tame to get. I managed to tame male and a female and the first thing I did right away was mating those two in order to get an imprinted offspring. When I only have two animals I like to keep those in base and use the offspring for farming and fighting. In case I lose my animal I will still be able to rebreed a new one. The night after I tamed a few more shadow mains to improve my base stats. My big plan was to start breeding shadow mains in order to get mutations. But I quickly figured out that our base pod was not big enough to set up a proper breeding group. So I scouted for a better spot on the map and I found one two days later. Because I wanted to be done with it quickly and I was so annoyed that our base was being stuffed by shadow mains, I cryopotted all of my shadow mains and all of Steph's shadow mains and traveled over to the new base pod. It was 3am in the morning and I just finished taming two more shadow mains for the main breeding group being proud of myself, at the spot I started crafting building materials in order to close off the breeding room I found so I could just uncryo all my animals and go to sleep. And you know this popular just one more thing that we all experienced in ARK before, that was the plan. And my plan did not work out. What happened next was, while crafting 30 large walls and watching some YouTube video, to keep my head busy and from falling asleep that I did fall asleep in my chair absolutely exhausted and waking up four hours later and all I saw was waking up to a screen that said I had been kicked from the server for being idle too long and suddenly my whole stomach turned around because I even told myself the night before to not keep the animals in my inventory for too long because it's too dangerous. I knew being kicked for being idle was not a good sign. When I logged in I got a respawn screen but no death point. So not only had I died in game, but my body and my whole inventory of shadow mains has decayed. So here I was after a few long nights of taming shadow mains, planning on starting my breeding group and getting mutations. And instead I lost everything. I was totally devastated. I felt like logging out again and being mad at myself. I messaged my tribe mate that I also lost his shadow mains and that he imprinted the night before. And he was not mad at me, he just told me, well that happened to him before and everything is replaceable. Well maybe, but my pretty shadow mains. I also wanted to feed them mutagen in order to get amazing high base level ones. Still mad at myself, I decided to put on my big girl pants and face the situation and fix it, even if it means to retame new shadow mains. I traveled back to the main base not knowing where and how to start. I was yet still tired. I just had 4 hours of sleep after a long night and did not really wake up with a nice event. And then I saw the two shadow mains that I bred as mounts the night before. The reason they were still in base was that I was too tired noticing them. I was absolutely sure that I had cryoed all of them, but those two were standing there as if nothing had happened. And you can't imagine what a relief I just felt, knowing that the most annoying part of taming the mains was not on my list anymore. Even though I lost 30 shadow mains, 6 of them wild tames on one night, those two random shadow mains would become the new base of our breeding line. It took me a whole day to get back to the number of shadow mains that I lost. Rockwell, Bless Boosted Servers, and where am I now? A few days after that oopsie, a few short nights and element farming sessions, I just hit the 100 life points and passed the 130 melee points on them. So everything did work out in the end. But what did I learn from the oopsie though? Never take all your animals in cryos with you, never play when you want to go to sleep, and the one more thing is never just one more thing. Most of the times, it's only the thing before the next one more thing. But one thing I also learned is that everything is replaceable. I know a lot of people lose items and lose animals in ARK, but everything you lose in ARK you can get back. Because you started at zero, so starting again from zero is not a big deal. 
but I do understand very well what happens when you're mad at yourself because stuff didn't work out the way you wanted it. And why am I telling you the story? I'm telling you the story just to tell you not everyone is perfect no matter how much you look up to that person. I messed up big times and in the end it was not that much of a mess up. Even if I didn't have those two random shadow mains, I could still have just tamed one or two new shadow mains and start over. So it's not a big deal. Arc takes and arc gives and sometimes it's just a matter of putting yourself together again, grabbing everything that you can grab and start over. And here I am with the amazing shadow mains that I got in the past days. I'm really happy. So I hope this is a little bit of an inspirational story for everyone who already lost stuff in Ark and was very mad at themselves. It's totally normal being mad at yourself, but it happens and everyone, everyone was in this situation before, so it's not something where you specifically are a bad player. I hope you like this story and I hope I do not lose a lot of stuff in the future and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye bye.